Well, today we are remembering the life and legacy of the trailblazing attorney Michael Ratner, who died on Wednesday at the age of 72. We're joined by four guests who knew Michael well on a personal and professional level. Reed Brody is counsel and spokesperson for Human Rights Watch. Michael Smith is an attorney and board member of the Center for Constitutional Rights. He co-authored a book with Michael called Who Killed Che? How the CIA Got Away with Murder. We're also joined in Pittsburgh by Jules Lobel. He is the president of the Center for Constitutional Rights and a law professor at the University of Pittsburgh. And joining us from London is Julian Assange, founder of WikiLeaks, joining us from the Ecuadorian embassy in London, where he has asylum. He has been there for almost four years. Julian Assange took refuge in the embassy in 2012. Assange wants to avoid extradition to Sweden over sex assault claims, which he has repeatedly denied. He says he fears Sweden will extradite him to the United States, where he could face trial for publishing classified information. He was represented during this time, uh, through his years inside the embassy, by Michael Ratner. Julian, welcome to Democracy Now! Your thoughts today on your late counsel, your late um, uh, attorney and friend, Michael Ratner. Michael <clears throat> touched many people throughout his life, uh, and you're seeing some of that today. Uh, he was my uh, personal friend um, uh, and advisor, our lead uh, lawyer in the United States and in the in the English language. Uh, so people here, um, people associated uh, with WikiLeaks, its various staff, uh, and our other lawyers in the United States um, are, are grieving. But <clears throat> I want to reflect a little on Michael Ratner. Um, <clears throat> uh, Michael was uh, important, not because of his, uh, simply because of his um, talent and indefatigability, uh, political and human consistency, uh, but because he was a role model to so many uh, who knew him, and a role model that is immutable. Uh, Michael was not a <clears throat> uh, one of these figures that uh, plague uh, the left so much. Uh, he was not a thundering uh, genius, although he was brilliant. Um, he was not someone who was uh, ideologically hidebound. He was not um, someone who simply engaged uh, in value projection uh, or exhibitionism. Uh, Michael Ratner was a, led a life uh, which was laudatory uh, both at, the, at his human level uh, in terms of his dealings with um, his uh, family, his children, uh, with his uh, friends, uh, and in terms of his work in law and political consistency. And he brought all these things together. Uh, and that is why um, uh, you're seeing the outpouring uh, that you are seeing, uh, because people, because of Michael's uh, sensitivity across all of these domains, uh, he's someone um, that you felt uh, uh, interacted with you as uh, a human being, not simply someone who uh, wanted something in a political uh, direction or in terms of law. And uh, while, while he had his uh, flaws, uh, these only made you understand that he really was um, uh, an Im a figure who you could strive uh, to emulate. And I, I think this is probably <clears throat> uh, will be seen his most important legacy. The other, other lawyers will talk about uh, the uh, cases uh, that he was, <clears throat> the cases that he took. Um, he certainly took many cases uh, uh, for us in relation to the ongoing uh, pending U U.S. prosecution in the United States in relation to Chelsea Manning, in relation to uh, banking blockades, in relation to all the politics surrounding this. Uh, he stepped forward um, first uh, in relation to Guantanamo Bay when uh, 
other lawyers such as uh, groups associated with the ACLU uh, felt that uh, this was not something that was politically politically achievable. Um, but he he is someone who, um, um, <clears throat> in, inspires a model uh, for people who are concerned about justice uh, that is achievable, not a model of self-destruction, uh, not a model that is unable to achieve because it requires some uh, uh, particular kind of genius that cannot be worked towards. Uh, and that is something that deeply affected uh, our young lawyers in the United States, for example. Well, for example, uh, Julian, Fink Julian, I wanted specifically to ask you about this issue of the of the model that he uh, that he provided to others. Could you talk a little bit about his his impact, uh, both in terms of the work he did in uh, defending whistleblowers uh, like uh, like yourself, but also in terms of his ability to take the human rights issue to an international level uh, and and to deal across countries and mobilize uh, legal battles uh, across borders? Yes. It, I mean, I've dealt with many lawyers in the United States and many people in the United States. And some of those, although they proclaim uh, to mm -hmm be concerned with the abuse of state power in the United States are, in fact, themselves very provincial and, in some ways, American exceptionalists of their own. Michael uh, cut completely across that. He was genuinely concerned about uh, people in Guatemala, about uh, me as an, as an Australian, uh, um, uh, about uh, 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 people who face similar problems in Palestine, about people being extradited from the United Kingdom. And he was able to work with these other groups and other lawyers across country, uh, across jurisdictions, uh, because they perceived that his genuine human concern uh, for them was not simply about uh, grabbing some prize that he could take back to the United States and exploit within his own, um, uh, new, if you like, New York and New York constitu constituency. And so he is very effective um, as a lawyer and as a campaigner for justice because he would do things, for example, uh, seeing that people might be extradited to the United States, uh, take up the battle at the place of extradition, for example, here in the United Kingdom um, with one of uh, my other lawyers, both on my case and in relation to um, uh, some ter uh, alleged terrorism cases, uh, Gareth Pierce. Other, other lesser lawyers, lesser human beings uh, might have gone, well, I can get the glory and I can get the credit uh, once that person is extradited to the United States. Uh, and then can be, the trial can be exploited and great precedents can be set in the United States. Michael was much more concerned at a, at a human level to take action early in the process uh, and, tr and try and stop grand juries or try and stop extraditions. Uh, before the person entered in uh, to, a, to a U.S. justice system that has become increasingly difficult uh, to deal with. Julian Assange.